Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Tough Toy Tryouts. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and set up alerts so you never miss out on the happenings of the channel. I'd also like to welcome all the new faces out there because last weekend's story went viral. That's right, this little video shown here made it to the top of the front page of Reddit and on Imgur. Imgur? Image? Er? Where it reached nearly 5 million people. Hopefully you'll see story on TV soon where she can make even more people chuckle. Anywho, this week we're testing out a line of Kong toys called Tennis Pals. This adorable plastic hedgehog has a unique squeak, and as you can tell, has a Kong tennis ball lodged inside. They call this a puzzle of sorts, but to me it looks like a very interesting fetch toy. We'll just have to wait and see how long it takes for that tennis ball to be removed and then subsequently destroyed. So now that we know what we're testing, let's... Aha, it is I, Porkchop. Here yet again to demand that you stop this insufferable toy destruction. We have filled the ranks of Tada with the Toy World's best agents, and we- Oh yeah, we gonna get you. Silence. How many times have I told you not to interrupt my prattling? I mean speeches. As I was saying, we are growing and soon- Wait a minute. Is that spiky purple- <laughs> Quillum Defoe? Uh-oh, got a jet. Roll this thing on over to Story and see how it holds up after a week's heavy abuse. And here it is in all its shredded glory. The tennis ball obviously didn't fare so well, but the hedgehog portion of the toy remained intact with only the usual scuffs and scrapes. So how did the toy do in general? Well, for safety, the toy receives a 3. While the hedgehog portion could be left out for Story, without much concern, the tennis ball definitely wouldn't. She had the first tennis ball and felt ripped off within the first hour of playing with the toy. I highly recommend monitoring your dog's play with this one. As for design, I give this a 5. The cuteness factor alone would get it a 5, but the fact that you can switch out standard sized tennis balls really adds something. When ball is life, like it is with my dog, tennis balls don't last a very long time and they aren't the cheapest thing around. But grab one of these toys and you could extend their life by quite a lot. This feature extends into longevity as well, which receives a 3. The original ball only lasted an hour, but the other tennis ball I had installed is still intact, though probably under the couch. Story got pretty efficient at removing the ball, but since this is more of a fetch toy anyways, I was there to reinsert and continue playing. That leaves us with the price, which receives a 3. At $8.45 on Chewy.com, I felt it was pretty overpriced. Had they included a couple extra tennis balls, it definitely would have been worth another bone for each. It does come in two sizes, and the small version is a little cheaper, but I cannot confirm if it still uses a standard sized tennis ball. After many hours toiling away at the score, I can confirm with 85% certainty that this toy receives a three and a half bones overall. Story really enjoyed fetch with this toy, as she was never really sure where it would bounce, which grants this toy her seal of approval. While I recommend this toy for fetch, I do recommend monitoring play, even if you only use the hedgehog portion because this plastic material, it's not rated for aggressive chewers. And that's where we end this week's episode. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button and share with all your dog park buddies. If you have any questions about story or testing or whatever, leave it in a comment below or on Twitter using the hashtag AskTTT. And feel free to recommend a toy for a future test. Until next time, have an amazing weekend. Thanks for watching.